Hello and welcome back. So last time we left, uh, we couldn't see any results here, even when I refresh. But one thing I forgot is I told it that if I'm not a student, then just return false. So it keeps returning from here and never gets to this point. So that was my bad. Now what I need to do is log in as guy. That way I get to... Uh, to see everything in its glory. So let's see, it's guy at gmail.com. So log out and let's log in as guy. Password, yes. Wait a minute, wrong password. Uh oh. What is the password? I'm completely uh, ignorant here of the password. Let's see, users, there's a um, guy at yahoo.com, is that what I'm doing here? Yes. What else? Uh, yeah, the password is the same for everybody. So it should be password, yes? Why is it refusing? What have I done wrong? Email. Email email uh, I have no idea okay let me try my own let's see here maybe this is a bug let's try that out ah, it logs in okay so what's going on here log out guy password wow that's crazy anyway let me just copy whatever the password is in here and replace it just in case it's forgotten what uh, what the rules are so let's try that wow nothing <sighs> that's crazy Okay, so maybe it's the email with the problem. Let's see what's happening with our email here. Nope. That's incredible. I have no idea why this isn't working. But let's see any other student that... Uh... Let me see other students that are part of this class. Okay, not this one. Uh, maybe Maria. Yes. Okay, let's try you, Maria. Hopefully, you shall be logable. Hmm. For some reason, uh, Guy is uh, not working. So let's click here. So tests. Ooh, there we go. I do love these errors. But let's not get carried away. Eye on the bow. <clears throat> okay. So here things are working. But as you can see, the result is showing here, which is cool. Because this is this. So it is working. Only thing I need to get from here is the... Uh, what ID do I need? They. What are these? The test ID. Yes, that's what I need to get. So, this is an array with two items, a zero, and then there. Okay. So cool. Let me try and get use array column here. I don't know if it's going to work, but uh, let's try that. So I'm just going to say. Um, my tests is equal to uh, array column. Now, what array column does is if you have a bunch of arrays inside one single array, you can tell it to get just one column. It's like a table. Let me get back here for a second. 
the way a table is here this is one row another row so if i wanted to just get the test names and add those to a an array a separate array i can use array column and tell it this is the column <coughs> excuse me this is the column i want to get and then you should get just this one column and put that inside an array so it's a quick way to get things without having to loop through them so uh, the input is the the array itself and the column here is test underscore id so i want to see if i will get a result of this right here just the tests themselves oops access denied i'm on the wrong page refresh here mm -hmm. Oh, so it worked. I thought it wouldn't work because those are objects, but uh, clearly it does work. Nice. So array column and we have our tests in here. Now I just want to use the word show because that makes them look even neater than this. There we go. So there we have one test and we have another test. So these are the tests that this person is eligible to take that's why there there are two here that's why there are two rows here now all we need to know is is this particular uh test part of this group here if it is then you are eligible to take same thing here so well, let's see here we can do that by saying if in array uh-huh so what's the need is what we are looking for. Now remember that we sent an ID from here. So this one is the test ID. I just want to make sure we are not using test ID anywhere here as a variable. Otherwise there will be clashes. Mm. Let's put my there just to be sure. Let me copy that and that's the need we are looking for. Does it exist in this array that we've collected of test IDs? Now, if it does, then we return true instead of returning false. So let's refresh. Mm -hmm. So as you can see now, this student can take these tests. Uh, yeah. As a student, I'm not allowed to see somebody else's profile. This is why I'm getting access denied here. So things are working as predicted. So here I can take the test. Very cool. Now quickly, let me log out and try as an admin to uh, log in and try to go to these tests. You see that I don't get those thingies there, even though I go to, let's say, this user's uh, thingy here, I don't get that because I'm not eligible to take a uh, test. So things are working, but since we are dealing with taking tests now, we have to sign in as uh, the student. Yes, goes to her own profile, click on profile, there we go, and take test. So all we need now is to, um, wow, this is quite the amount of code. I hope uh, everything is necessary here. Hmm. I should think so. Okay, so, so far so good. Um, now we need a link to where this is taking us. So let's add an href. I'm just going to steal this one and paste it there and then uh, close the a tag like so okay so where does this take us we have single test but instead of single test we want um, uh, what do we call this one when somebody is taking the test maybe we just say take test so you can name this anything you want that's the controller name here we're going to use so take test and then uh, test row and the test id okay so this will know which test you want to take 
So if I refresh now and click here, the controller was not found. But at least now we know. Uh, if I hover on these different ones, there's a different ID, which means things are working as planned. So now the only thing remaining is if I click on this, I should see all the test questions here. Now, already here, uh, there's a security problem where a student can just click on the thingy and see what's happening on single test. Now, students should not be able to see single test dot php because then they can just look at the questions and know the answers so let's limit them there and then we can take it from there so single test right here first of all we are checking if somebody is logged in but that's not enough we need to know the access level so here access should be lecturer so access and let's move that to lecturer like this and if they do that we take them to access denied instead of the login page so if I now try to view this where oopsie let me click here Oop. controller not found access denied but wait a minute how did we see the other thing? Alrighty then. Okay, so what we can do is quickly create the access denied page. So I'm just going to copy the home page since it's the simplest one of all. Copy that. New controller. Paste there. That way we can uh, quickly move things around. So let's see. Access denied controller. That's the view we're going to load. And let's say access underscore denied dot PHP. So write the same thing here. Access underscore denied. Aha. Uh -huh. And then we are not supposed to check for authentication at all. We just need to show Ah, looky there. Okay, so back to the um, single test. Uh -huh. Instead of this, we'll put an underscore there for the sake of... Uh... Let me get back. Let me try again here. Okay, so I get access denied now. Very cool. And that way I still have my thing is here if I want to navigate okay so access denied so you can't click on this as a student to see that but here you can take the test okay pretty cool all right so in the next video we're going to start creating uh, ways to take the test I'll see you then